Collective. Noun. A farm owned by a collection of people. Adjective. Formed by gathering or collecting. Gathered into a mass. Alternatives. Noun. A situation which allows a mutually exclusive choice between two or more possibilities. A choice between two or more possibilities. Somebody. Noun. A recognized or important person. A celebrity. Pronoun. Some unspecified person. Press. Noun. A device used to apply pressure to an item. Reformat. Verb. To format anew or again, generally erasing a previous format. Legs. Noun. A limb or appendage that an animal uses for support or locomotion. Verb. To remove the legs from an animal carcass. Exact. Verb. To demand and enforce the payment or performance of. Sometimes in a forcible or imperious way. Adjective. Precisely agreeing with a standard. A fact. Or the truth. Perfectly conforming. Neither exceeding nor falling short in any respect. Adverb. Exactly. Flexible. Noun. Something that is flexible. Adjective. Capable of being flexed or bent without breaking. Able to be turned or twisted without breaking. Detail. Noun. Something small enough to escape casual notice. Verb. To explain in detail. Block. Noun. A substantial. Often approximately cuboid. Piece of any substance. Verb. To fill. Something. So that it is not possible to pass. Keeping. Verb. To continue in. A course or mode of action. Not to intermit or fall from. To uphold or maintain. Noun. Conformity or harmony. Apartment. Noun. A complete domicile occupying only part of a building, especially one for rent. A flat. Compilation. Noun. The act or process of compiling or gathering together from various sources. Serving. Verb. Personal. To provide a service. Or. By extension. A product. Especially food or drink. Noun. The action of the verb to serve. Adjective. That or who serves or serve. Holding. Verb. To grasp or grip. Noun. Something that one owns, especially stocks and bonds. Dry. Noun. The process by which something is dried. Verb. To lose moisture. Adjective. Free from or lacking moisture. Borrowed. Verb. To receive. Something. From somebody temporarily, expecting to return it. Heights. Noun. The distance from the base of something to the top. Gingerbread. Noun. A type of cake whose main flavoring is ginger. Clinical. Noun. A medical student's session spent in a real-world nursing environment. Adjective. Of or pertaining to a medical clinic or facility. Insight. Noun. A sight or view of the interior of anything. A deep inspection or view. Introspection. Frequently used with into. Polite. Verb. To polish. To refine. To render polite. Adjective. Well-mannered. Civilized. Labeling. Verb. To put a label. A ticket or sign. On. Something. Noun. A set of labels applied to the various objects in a system. It. Noun. One who is neither a he nor a she. A creature. A dehumanized being. Adjective. Most fashionable. Pronoun. The third person singular personal pronoun that is normally used to refer to an inanimate object or abstract entity. Also often used to refer to animals. Flags. Noun. A piece of cloth. Often decorated with an emblem. Used as a visual signal or symbol. Verb. To furnish or deck out with flags. Verb. To weaken. Become feeble. Noun. Any of various plants with sword-shaped leaves. Especially irises. Specifically. Iris pseudocorus. Noun. A slice of turf. A sod. Verb. To pave with flagstones. Noun. A group of feathers on the lower part of the legs of certain hawks. Owls. Etc. Magnifying. Verb. To praise, glorify, someone or something, especially God. 
letting verb to allow to not to prevent plus infinitive but usually without to verb to hinder prevent impede hamper cumber to obstruct someone or something noun the rental of accommodation mayor noun the chief executive of the municipal government of a city borough and c formerly usually appointed as a caretaker by european royal courts but now usually appointed or elected locally errands noun a journey undertaken to accomplish some task verb to send someone on an errand lyrics noun a lyric poem noun the words to a song or other vocal music planned verb to design a building machine etc adjective existing or designed according to a plan appears verb to come or be in sight to be in view to become visible audience noun a group of people within hearing specifically a large gathering of people listening to or watching a performance speech etc come across verb to change sides to cross over to work for the opposition flour noun powder obtained by grinding or milling cereal grains especially wheat or other foodstuffs such as soybeans and potatoes and used to bake bread cakes and pastry verb to apply flour to something to cover with flour noun a colorful conspicuous structure associated with angiosperms frequently scented and attracting various insects and which may or may not be used for sexual reproduction noun something that flows such as a river needed verb to have an absolute requirement for adjective necessary being required passing verb to change place noun death dying the end of something adjective that passes away ephemeral adverb surpassingly greatly beat noun a stroke a blow verb to hit strike adjective exhausted players noun one that plays noodle noun usually in the plural a string or strip of pasta verb to think or ponder coats noun an outer garment covering the upper torso and arms wp verb to cover with a coating of some material favorite noun a person or thing who enjoys special regard or favor verb to favor adjective preferred or liked above all others in less qualified determines verb to set the boundaries or limits of continuously adverb without pause claim noun a demand of ownership made for something verb to demand ownership of filmmaker noun a producer or director of films movies part noun a portion a component verb to leave the company of adjective fractional partial adverb partly partially fractionally charlotte noun a dessert consisting of sponge cake filled with fruit and cream or custard destination noun the act of destining or appointing show off verb to exhibit the best attributes of something noun one who shows off end points noun either of the two points at the ends of a line segment outlined verb to draw an outline of gossip noun someone who likes to talk about other people's private or personal business verb to talk about someone else's private or personal business especially in a manner that spreads the information alternatives noun a situation which allows a mutually exclusive choice between two or more possibilities a choice between two or more possibilities coordination noun the act of coordinating making different people or things work together for a goal or effect heels noun the rear part of the foot where it joins the leg noun the act of inclining or canting from a vertical position a cant noun 
high-heeled shoes, coding, verb, to write software programs, verb, of a patient, to suffer a sudden medical emergency, a code blue, such as cardiac arrest, noun, the process of encoding or decoding, pessimistic, adjective, marked by pessimism and little hopefulness, expecting the worst, groceries, noun, the commodities sold by a grocer or in a grocery store. Noun. Usually groceries. Retail foodstuffs and other household supplies. Verb. To go grocery shopping. Chips. Noun. A small piece broken from a larger piece of solid material. Verb. To chop or cut into small pieces. Noun. A carpenter. Biggest. Adjective. Of great size. Large. Pat. Noun. The sound of a light slap or tap with a soft flat object. Especially of a footstep. Verb. 2. Gently. Tap the flat of one's hand on a person or thing. Adjective. Timely. Suitable. Apt. Opportune. Ready for the occasion. Especially of things spoken. Adverb. Opportunely. In a timely or suitable way. Jeans. Noun. Denim. Noun, a pair of trousers made from denim cotton. Notary. Noun, a lawyer of non-contentious private civil law who drafts, takes, and records legal instruments for private parties, and provides legal advice, but does not appear in court on client's behalf. Smartphone. Noun, a mobile phone with more advanced features and greater computing capacity than a feature phone. Appendices. Noun. Something attached to something else. An attachment or accompaniment. Renovating. Verb. To renew. To revamp something to make it look new again. Corner. Noun. The point where two converging lines meet. An angle. Either external or internal. Verb. To drive. Someone or something. Into a corner or other confined space. Quakes. Noun, a trembling or shaking. Verb, to tremble or shake. Colleagues. Noun, a fellow member of a profession. Staff, academic faculty or other organization. An associate. Cube. Noun, a regular polyhedron having six identical square faces. Verb, to raise to the third power. To determine the result of multiplying by itself twice. Choir. Noun. Singing group. Group of people who sing together. Company of people who are trained to sing together. Verb. To sing in concert. Runway. Noun. A defined, narrow section of land or an artificial structure used for access. Contracts. Noun. An agreement between two or more parties. To perform a specific job or work order often temporary or of fixed duration and usually governed by a written agreement. Verb. To draw together or nearer. To shorten. Narrow. Or lessen. Quakes. Noun. A trembling or shaking. Verb. To tremble or shake. Conducts. Noun. The act or method of controlling or directing. Verb. To lead or guide. To escort. Bill. Noun. Any of various bladed or pointed hand weapons. Originally designating an Anglo-Saxon sword. And later a weapon of infantry. Especially in the 14th and 15th centuries. Commonly consisting of a broad. Heavy. Double-edged. Hook-shaped blade. With a short pike at the back and another at the top. Attached to the end of a long staff. Verb. To dig. Chop. Etc. With a bill. Make. Noun. Brand or kind. Model. Verb. To create. Enrichment. Noun. The act of enriching or something enriched. Card. Noun. A playing card. Verb. To check IDs, especially against a minimum age requirement. Northerners. Noun. A native or inhabitant of the north of a region. Or of the world as a whole. Such as one of the northern United States the north of Norway, etc. Interfere. Verb. To get involved or involve oneself, causing disturbance. Smell. Noun. A sensation. 
pleasant or unpleasant, detected by inhaling air, or the case of water-breathing animals, water, carrying airborne molecules of a substance, verb, to sense a smell or smells, age, noun, the whole duration of a being, whether animal, plant, or other kind, being alive, verb, to cause to grow old, to impart the characteristics of age to, grand, noun, plural, grand, a thousand of some unit of currency, such as dollars or pounds, compare g, adjective, of a large size or extent, great, packaged, verb, to pack or bundle something, adjective, having been placed in a package, analyst, noun, someone who analyzes, directed, verb, to manage, control, steer, adjective, in a manner emphasizing one's point of view, coup, noun, a quick, brilliant, and highly successful act, verb, to make a coup, mom, noun, familiar, mother, verb, to care in a motherly way, already, adverb, prior to some specified time, either past, present, or future, by this time, previously, spiral, noun, a curve that is the locus of a point that rotates about a fixed point while continuously increasing its distance from that point, verb, to move along the path of a spiral or helix, adjective, helical, like a spiral, lick, noun, the act of licking, a stroke of the tongue, verb, to stroke with the tongue, allergies, noun, a disorder of the immune system causing adverse reactions to substances, allergens, not harmful to most and marked by the body's production of histamines and associated with atopy, anaphylaxis, an asthma, administrator, noun, one who administers affairs, one who directs, manages, executes, or dispenses, whether in civil, judicial, political, or ecclesiastical affairs, a manager, port, noun, a place on the coast at which ships can shelter, or dock to load and unload cargo or passengers, verb, to turn or put to the left or larboard side of a ship, set of the helm, adjective, of or relating to port, the left-hand side of a vessel when facing the bow, interpreted, verb, to explain or tell the meaning of, to translate orally into intelligible or familiar language or terms applied especially to language, but also to dreams, signs, conduct, mysteries, etc., called, verb, heading, to use one's voice, lieutenant, noun, the lowest junior commissioned officer rank, s, in many military forces, often army and marines, adjective, a military grade that is junior to the grade the adjective modifies. Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant General, Lieutenant Commander. Jump, noun, the act of jumping, a leap, a spring, a bound, verb, to propel oneself rapidly upward, downward and or in any horizontal direction such that momentum causes the body to become airborne. Adjective, exact, matched, fitting. Precise. Adverb. Exactly. Precisely. Noun. An occasion when a performer or team of them, especially in vaudeville, expects to perform at a theater for a single evening. Avoids. Verb. To try not to meet or communicate with, a person, to shun. Comedies. Noun. A choric song of celebration or revel, especially in ancient Greece. Break. Noun. An instance of breaking something into two or more pieces. Verb. To separate into two or more pieces. To fracture or crack. By a process that cannot easily be reversed for reassembly. Delicious. Adjective. Pleasing to taste. Tasty. Direction. Noun. A theoretical line. Physically or mentally. Followed from a point of origin or towards a destination. May be relative e.g. up, left, outbound, dorsal, geographical, e.g. north, rotational, e.g. clockwise, 
or with respect to an object or location, e.g. toward Boston, beside, adverb, otherwise, else, preposition, next to, at the side of, affectionate, adjective, of a person, having affection or warm regard, loving, fond, refill, noun, a filling after the first, do, noun, deserved acknowledgement, adjective, owed or owing, adverb, used with compass directions, directly, exactly, pharmacy, noun, countable, a place where prescription drugs are dispensed, a dispensary, magistrate, noun, a judicial officer with limited authority to administer and enforce the law. A magistrate's court may have jurisdiction in civil or criminal cases. Or both. Damaged. Verb. To impair the soundness, goodness, or value of. To harm or cause destruction. Adjective. Suffered a damage. Advantages. Noun. Any condition. Circumstance. Opportunity or means. Particularly favorable to success. Or to any desired end. Verb. To provide. Someone. With an advantage. To give an edge to. Counterexample. Noun. An exception to a proposed general rule. A specific instance of the falsity of a universally quantified statement. Knocked. Verb. To strike for admittance. To rap upon. As a door. Shoe. Noun. A protective covering for the foot. With a bottom part composed of thick leather or plastic sole and often a thicker heel. And a softer upper part made of leather or synthetic material. Shoes generally do not extend above the ankle. As opposed to boots. Which do. Verb. To put shoes on one's feet. Investor. Noun. A person who invests money in order to make a profit. Multi. Noun. A multituberculate. Competence. Noun, the quality or state of being competent, i.e. able or suitable for a general role. Soap. Noun, a substance able to mix with both oil and water. Used for cleaning. Often in the form of a solid bar or in liquid form. Derived from fats or made synthetically. Verb, to apply soap to in washing. Service. Noun, an act of being of assistance to someone. Verb, to serve. Requests. Noun. Act of requesting. With the adposition at in the presence of possessives. And on in their absence. Verb. To ask for. Something. Industrious. Adjective. Hardworking and persistent. Overtime. Noun. Working time outside of one's regular hours. Verb. To measure something incorrectly. As taking more time than it actually did. Adverb. Exceeding regular working hours. Shade. Noun. Darkness where light, particularly sunlight, is blocked. New. Noun. Things that are new. Verb. To make new. To recreate. To renew. Adjective. Recently made. Are created. Adverb. Newly. Especially in composition. Verb. To create. An object. By calling its constructor. Continues. Noun. An option allowing a gamer to resume play after game over. When all lives have been lost. Verb. To proceed with. Doing an activity. To prolong. An activity. Alchemist. Noun. One who practices alchemy. Difficulties. Noun. A series of frustrations. Noun. The state of being difficult or hard to do. Named. Verb. Detransitive. To give a name to. Adjective. Having a name. Sacrifice. Noun. The offering of anything to a god. A consecratory rite. Verb. To offer. Something. As a gift to a deity. Poor. Noun. With the. Those who have little or no possessions or money. Taken as a group. Adjective. With no or few possessions or money. Particularly in relation to contemporaries who do have them. Stepmother. Noun. The wife of one's biological father, other than one's biological mother. Men. Noun. An adult male human. Noun. Collective. The. People. Humanity. Bill. Noun. 
any of various bladed or pointed hand weapons, originally designating an Anglo-Saxon sword, and later a weapon of infantry, especially in the 14th and 15th centuries, commonly consisting of a broad, heavy, double-edged, hook-shaped blade, with a short pike at the back and another at the top, attached to the end of a long staff. Verb. To dig, chop, etc. With a bill. Engraved. Verb. To carve text or symbols into. Something. Usually for the purposes of identification or art. Verb. To put in a grave. To bury. Adjective. Made by engraving. Books. Noun. A collection of sheets of paper bound together to hinge at one edge. Containing printed or written material. Pictures. Etc. Verb. To reserve. Something. For future use. Banner. Noun. A flag or standard used by a military commander. Monarch or nation. Verb. To adorn with a banner. Adjective. Exceptional. Very good. Huge. Adjective. Very large. Impact. Noun. The striking of one body against another. Collision. Verb. To collide or strike. The act of impinging. Reputed. Verb. To attribute or credit something to something. To impute. Adjective. Accorded a reputation. Disapprove. Verb. To condemn. To consider wrong or inappropriate. Used with of. Fixes. Noun. A repair or corrective action. Verb. To pierce. Now generally replaced by transfix. Injure. Verb. To wound or cause physical harm to a living creature. Meet. Noun. A sports competition. Especially for track and field. A track meet. Or swimming. A swim meet. Verb. To make contact. With. While in proximity. Founder. Noun. One who founds or establishes. Especially said of a company. Project. Organization. State. Easily. Adverb. Comfortably, without discomfort or anxiety. Illusionist. Noun. One who works with illusion or sleight of hand. Auditorium. Noun. A large room for public meetings or performances. Educated. Verb. To instruct or train. Adjective. Having attained a level of higher education. Such as a college degree. Lexicographer. Noun. One who writes or compiles a dictionary. Hurts. Noun. An emotional or psychological humiliation or bad experience. Verb. To be painful. Blows. Noun. A strong wind. Verb. To produce an air current. Noun. The act of striking or hitting. Noun. A mass or display of flowers. A yield. Verb. To blossom. To cause to bloom or blossom. Purchase. Noun. The acquisition of title to. Or property in. Anything for a price. Buying for money or its equivalent. Verb. To buy. Obtain by payment of a price in money or its equivalent. Payday. Noun. The day of the week or month. Or the specific day. On which an employee's wages or salary is paid. Simpler. Adjective. Uncomplicated. Taken by itself. With nothing added. Noun. One who grows or gathers simples. Medicinal herbs. Genuine. Adjective. Belonging to, or proceeding from the original stock. Native. Salami. Noun. A large cured meat sausage of Italian origin, served in slices. Chefs. Noun. The presiding cook in the kitchen of a large household. Commented. Verb. To remark. Botheration. Noun. The act of bothering. Or state of being bothered. Cause of trouble. Interjection. An expression of annoyance. Cubes. Noun. A regular polyhedron having six identical square faces. Verb. To raise to the third power. To determine the result of multiplying by itself twice. Noun. A cubicle. Especially one of those found in offices. F. Interjection. Used to profess respect for a deceased person. Or for something that has been lost. Noun. Abbreviation. Folio. 
Paper and book size. 10 inches minus 12.5, by 15 inches minus 20. Noun. That which is feminine. Demolition. Noun. The process of demolishing or destroying buildings or other structures. Brushes. Noun. An implement consisting of multiple more or less flexible bristles or other filaments attached to a handle. Used for any of various purposes including cleaning, painting, and arranging hair. Verb. To clean with a brush. Response. Noun. A response. Verb. To say something in return. To answer. To reply. Relational. Adjective. Relating to relations. Monument. Noun. A structure built for commemorative or symbolic reasons. Or as a memorial. A commemoration. Verb. To mark or memorialize with a monument. Black. Noun. The color. Color perceived in the absence of light. But also when no light is reflected. But rather absorbed. Verb. To make black. To blacken. Adjective. Of an object. Absorbing all light and reflecting none. Dark and hueless. Charlotte. Noun. A dessert consisting of sponge cake filled with fruit and cream or custard. Compact. Noun. An agreement or contract. Continues. Noun. An option allowing a gamer to resume play after game over. When all lives have been lost. Verb. To proceed with. Doing an activity. To prolong. An activity. Precautions. Noun. Previous caution or care. Caution previously employed to prevent misfortune or to secure good. Promotion. Noun. An advancement in rank or position. Sights. Noun. Sorrow. Grief. Noun. The place where anything is fixed. Situation. Local position. Verb. To situate or place a building. Exhausted. Verb. To draw or let out wholly. To drain off completely. Adjective. Very tired. In a state of exhaustion. Southeast. Noun. The direction of the cardinal compass point halfway between south and east. Specifically 135 degrees. Abbreviated as SE. Adjective. Southeastern. Southeasternmost. Occupying a position that is relatively southeast of another. Properly. Adverb. In a proper manner. Appropriately. Suitably. Correctly. Justifiably. Landing. Verb. To descend to a surface. Especially from the air. Noun. Corridor. Leads. Noun. A heavy. Pliable. Inelastic metal element. Having a bright. Bluish color. But easily tarnished. Both malleable and ductile. Though with little tenacity. It is easily fusible, forms alloys with other metals, and is an ingredient of solder and type metal. Atomic number 82. Symbol PB. From Latin plumbum. Verb. To cover. Fill. Or effect with lead. Noun. The act of leading or conducting. Guidance. Direction. Course. Verb. Heading. To guide or conduct. Scrape. Noun. A broad. Shallow injury left by scraping. Rather than a cut or a scratch. Verb. To draw. An object. Especially a sharp or angular one. Along. Something. While exerting pressure. Recipes. Noun. A formula for preparing or using a medicine. A prescription. Also. A medicine prepared from such instructions. Inexpensive. Adjective. Low in price. Fact. Noun. Something actual as opposed to invented. Interjection. Used before making a statement to introduce it as a trustworthy one. Muttering. Verb. To utter words. Especially complaints or angry expressions. Indistinctly or with a low voice and lips partly closed. To say under one's breath. Noun. Something that is muttered. Insignificant. Adjective. Not significant. Not important, inconsequential, or having no noticeable effect. Ambulance. Noun. An emergency vehicle designed for transporting seriously ill or injured people to a hospital. Verb. To transport by ambulance. Laugh. 
Noun. An expression of mirth particular to the human species. The sound heard in laughing. Laughter. Verb. To show mirth. Satisfaction. Or derision. By peculiar movement of the muscles of the face. Particularly of the mouth. Causing a lighting up of the face and eyes. And usually accompanied by the emission of explosive or chuckling sounds from the chest and throat. To indulge in laughter. Clicks. Noun. A brief. Sharp. Not particularly loud. Relatively high-pitched sound produced by the impact of something small and hard against something. Hard. Such as by the operation of a switch. A lock or a latch. Or a finger pressed against the thumb and then released to strike the hand. Verb. To cause to make a click. To operate. A switch. Etc. So that it makes a click. Noun. A detent. Paul. Or ratchet. Such as that which catches the cogs of a ratchet wheel to prevent backward motion. Verb. To snatch. Noun. A kilometer. Daycare. Noun. Daytime supervision, usually of children. Nickname. Noun. A familiar. Invented given name for a person or thing used instead of the actual name of the person or thing. Verb. To give a nickname to. A person or thing. Snack. Noun. A light meal. Verb. To eat a light meal. Pays. Noun. Money given in return for work. Salary or wages. Verb. To give money or other compensation to in exchange for goods or services. Verb. To cover. The bottom of a vessel. A seam. A spar. Etc. With tar or pitch. Or a waterproof composition of tallow. Resin. Etc. To smear. Combining. Verb. To bring. Two or more things or activities. Together. To unite. Noun. The act by which things are combined or brought together. Gospel. Noun. The first section of the Christian New Testament scripture. Comprising the books of Matthew. Mark. Luke and John. Concerned with the life. Crucifixion. Death. Resurrection. And teachings of Jesus. Verb. To instruct in the gospel. Business. Noun. A specific commercial enterprise or establishment. Adjective. Of. To. Pertaining to or utilized for purposes of conducting trade. Commerce. Governance. Advocacy or other professional purposes. Captain. Noun. A chief or leader. Verb. To act as captain. Stale. Noun. Something stale. A loaf of bread or the like that is no longer fresh. Verb. Of alcohol. To make stale. To age in order to clear and strengthen. A drink. Especially beer. Adjective. Alcohol. Clear. Free of dregs and lees. Old and strong. Glide. Noun. The act of gliding. Verb. To move softly, smoothly, or effortlessly. Calculated. Verb. To determine the value of something or the solution to something by a mathematical process. Adjective. Arrived at or determined by mathematical calculation. Ascertained mathematically. Flawless. Adjective. Without flaws, defects, or shortcomings. Perfect. Refine. Verb. To purify. Reduce to a fine, unmixed, or pure state. To free from impurities. Ah. Pronoun. The speaker or writer. Referred to as the grammatical subject. Of a sentence. Noun. An instance of the interjection ah. Verb. To give a cry of ah. Interjection. An expression of relief. Relaxation. Comfort. Confusion. Understanding. Wonder. Ah. Etc. According to uttered inflection. Spherical. Adjective. Shaped like a sphere. Planning. Verb. To design. A building. Machine. Etc. Noun. Action of the verb to plan. Crew. Verb. To make the shrill sound characteristic of a rooster. To make a sound in this manner. Either in gaiety. Joy. Pleasure. Or defiance. Adjoining. Verb. To be in contact or connection with. Adjective. Being in contact at some point or line. 
joining to lobster noun a crustacean of the nephropody family dark green or blue black in color turning bright red when cooked with a hard shell and claws which is used as a seafood verb to fish for lobsters adjective red colored especially from a sunburn business noun a specific commercial enterprise or establishment adjective of to pertaining to or utilized for purposes of conducting trade commerce governance advocacy or other professional purposes mall noun a pedestrianized street especially a shopping precinct verb to beat with a mall or mallet to beat with something heavy to bruise butcher noun a person who prepares and sells meat and sometimes also slaughters the animals verb to slaughter animals and prepare meat for market picture noun a representation of anything as a person a landscape a building upon canvas paper or other surface by drawing painting printing photography etc verb to represent in or with a picture legal noun the legal department of a company adjective relating to the law or to lawyers planted verb to place a seed or plant in soil or other substrate in order that it may live and grow murder noun the crime of deliberately killing another person without justification verb to deliberately kill a person or persons without justification especially with malice aforethought beetroot noun beta vulgaris a plant with a swollen root which is eaten or used to make sugar noun usually uncountable the edible part of the root of a beet plant raw or prepared verb to turn a bright red or purple color blooming verb to cause to blossom to make flourish noun the act by which something blooms adjective opening in blossoms flowering adverb often followed by well bloody bleeding extremely represent verb to present again or anew to present by means of something standing in the place of to exhibit the counterpart or image of to typify lamp noun a device that generates heat light or other radiation especially an electric light bulb verb to hit clout belt wallop smile noun a facial expression comprised by flexing the muscles of both ends of one's mouth often showing the front teeth without vocalization and in humans is a common involuntary or voluntary expression of happiness pleasure amusement or anxiety verb to have a smile on one's face investor noun a person who invests money in order to make a profit binoculars noun a handheld device consisting of a series of lenses and prisms used to magnify objects so that they can be better seen from a distance and looked at through both eyes considering verb to think about seriously noun consideration adverb given the circumstances preposition taking into account fixtures noun something that is fixed in place especially a permanent appliance or other item of personal property that is considered part of a house and is sold with it compare fitting furnishing generalization noun the formulation of general concepts from specific instances by abstracting common properties it noun one who is neither a he nor a she a creature a dehumanized being adjective most fashionable pronoun the third person singular personal pronoun that is normally used to refer to an inanimate object or abstract entity also often used to refer to animals quick noun raw or sensitive flesh especially that underneath finger and toenails verb to amalgamate surfaces prior to gilding or silvering by dipping them into a solution of mercury in nitric acid adjective moving with speed 
rapidity or swiftness, are capable of doing so. Rapid, fast, adverb, quickly, in a quick manner, inexpensive, adjective, low in price, status, noun, a person's condition, position or standing relative to that of others. Committed, verb, to give in trust, to put into charge or keeping, to entrust, to consign, used with to or formerly unto, adjective, obligated by a pledge to some course of action. Poem. Noun. A literary piece written in verse. Agrees. Verb. To harmonize in opinion, statement, or action. To be in unison or concord. To be or become united or consistent. To concur. Star. Noun. Any small luminous dot appearing in the cloudless portion of the night sky especially with a fixed location relative to other such dots. Verb. To appear as a featured performer or headliner, especially in an entertainment program. Slippers. Noun. A low soft shoe that can be slipped on and off easily. Facility. Noun. The fact of being easy, or easily done. Absence of difficulty, simplicity. Ruin. Noun. Sometimes in the plural. The remains of a destroyed or dilapidated construction, such as a house or castle. Verb. To cause the fiscal ruin of. Calculations. Noun. The act or process of calculating. Lamb. Noun. A young sheep. Verb. Of a sheep. To give birth. Likes. Noun. Usually in the plural. Something that a person likes. Prefers. Verb. To enjoy. Be pleased by. Favor. Be in favor of. Noun. Sometimes as the likes of. Someone similar to a given person. Or something similar to a given object. A comparative. A type. A sort. Verb. To be likely. Geographer. Noun. A specialist in geography. Locksmith. Noun. One who practices locksmithing. Sermon. Noun. Religious discourse. A written or spoken address on a religious or moral matter. Slippers. Noun. A low soft shoe that can be slipped on and off easily. Furious. Adjective. Feeling great anger. Raging. Violent. Spoonful. Noun. The amount that a spoon will hold, either level or heaped. Courgette. Noun. A particular variety of cucurbita pipo, a small marrow, squash. Allocation. Noun. The process or procedure for allocating things, especially money or other resources. Select. Verb. To choose one or more elements of a set, especially a set of options. Adjective. Privileged. Specially selected. Failure. Noun. State or condition of not meeting a desirable or intended objective, opposite of success. Receives. Noun. An operation in which data is received. Verb. To take. As something that is offered. Given. Committed. Sent. Paid. Etc. To accept. To be given something. Museum. Noun. A building or institution dedicated to the acquisition. Conservation. Study. Exhibition. An educational interpretation of objects having scientific. Historical. Cultural or artistic value. Stars. Noun. Any small luminous dot appearing in the cloudless portion of the night sky. Especially with a fixed location relative to other such dots. Verb. To appear as a featured performer or headliner. Especially in an entertainment program. Noun. With the outer space. Emission. Noun. Something which is emitted or sent out. Issue. Choir. Noun. Singing group. Group of people who sing together. Company of people who are trained to sing together. Verb. To sing in concert. Noodle. Noun. Usually in the plural. A string or strip of pasta. Verb. To think or ponder. Electric. Noun. Usually with definite article. Electricity. The electricity supply. Adjective. Of. Relating to. Produced by. Operated with. Or utilizing electricity.
electrical, magnificent, adjective, grand, elegant or splendid in appearance, experienced, verb, to observe certain events, undergo a certain feeling or process, or perform certain actions that may alter one or contribute to one's knowledge, opinions, or skills, adjective, having experience and skill in a subject, embarrassment, noun, a state of discomfort arising from bashfulness or consciousness of having violated a social rule, humiliation, gifted, verb, to give as a gift or donation, adjective, endowed with special, in particular intellectual, abilities, hiring, verb, to obtain the services of in return for fixed payment, noun, the act by which an employee is hired, loaded, verb, to put a load on or in, a means of conveyance or a place of storage, adjective, burdened by some heavy load, packed, activity, noun, the state or quality of being active, activeness, downstream, verb, to stream downward, adjective, lower down, in relation to a river, stream or flow of fluid, adverb, following the path of a river or stream, financier, noun, a person who, as a profession, profits from large financial transactions, verb, to carry out financial transactions, to finance something, events, noun, an occurrence, something that happens, verb, to occur, take place, verb, to be emitted or breathed out, to evaporate, security, noun, the condition of not being threatened, especially physically, psychologically, emotionally, or financially, has, verb, to possess, own, set out, verb, to explain something, or give exact details, usually in writing. Disregard. Noun. The act or state of deliberately not paying attention or caring about. Misregard. Verb. To ignore. Pay no attention to. Hairdresser. Noun. A person who cuts or styles hair as an occupation or profession. Draw. Noun. The result of a contest that neither side has won. A tie. Verb. To move or develop something. Bigger. Adjective. Of great size. Large. Verb. To make or become bigger. Eyebrow. Noun. The hair that grows over the bone ridge above the eye socket. Verb. To build up waste fibers in a roller machine. Lane. Noun. Used in street names, a road, street, or similar thoroughfare. Niches. Noun. A cavity, hollow, or recess, generally within the thickness of a wall, for a statue, bust, or other erect ornament. Hence, any similar position, literal or figurative, scenic, noun, a depiction of scenery, adjective, having beautiful scenery, picturesque. Leg, noun, a limb or appendage that an animal uses for support or locomotion. Verb. To remove the legs from an animal carcass. Perhaps. Noun. An uncertainty. Adverb. Modifies a verb, indicating a lack of certainty. Evaluate. Verb. To draw conclusions from examining. To assess. Closing. Verb. Physical. To remove a gap. Noun. The act by which something is closed. Adjective. Pertaining to the finish or ending of a series of events. Occurring at the end or after all others. Records. Noun. A disc. Usually made of a polymer. Used to record sound for playback on a phonograph. Noun. An item of information put into a temporary or permanent physical medium. Verb. To make a record of information. Fixing. Verb. To pierce. Now generally replaced by transfix. Noun. The act of subverting. Fixing. A vote. Missed. Verb. To fail to hit. Rehabilitation. Noun. The process of rehabilitating somebody or something. Spade. Noun. A garden tool with a handle and a flat blade for digging. Not to be confused with a shovel which is used for moving earth or other materials.
Verb. To turn over soil with a spade to loosen the ground for planting. Agent. Noun. One who exerts power, or has the power to act. Consent. Noun. Voluntary agreement or permission. Verb. To express willingness, to give permission. Relatively. Adverb. Proportionally, in relation to some larger scale thing. Bright. Noun. An artist's brush used in oil and acrylic painting with a long ferrule and a flat, somewhat tapering bristle head. Adjective. Visually dazzling. Luminous. Lucent. Clear. Radiant. Not dark. Smoke. Noun. The visible vapor. Vapor. Gases. And fine particles given off by burning or smoldering material. Adjective. Of the color known as smoke. Overtime. Noun. Working time outside of one's regular hours. Verb. To measure something incorrectly. As taking more time than it actually did. Adverb. Exceeding regular working hours. Reassignment. Noun. The act of reassigning. A second or subsequent assignment. East. Noun. One of the four principal compass points. Specifically 90 degrees. Conventionally directed to the right on maps. The direction of the rising sun at an equinox. Abbreviated as E. Adjective. Situated or lying in or towards the east. Eastward. Adverb. Towards the east. Eastwards. Brightly. Adverb. In a bright manner. Sizes. Noun. Obsolete outside dialectal. And a size. Verb. To adjust the size of. To make a certain size. Noun. A thin. Weak glue used as primer for paper or canvas intended to be painted upon. Verb. To apply glue or other primer to a surface which is to be painted. Particular. Noun. A small individual part of something larger. A detail. A point. Adjective. Pertaining only to a part of something. Partial. Popcorn. Noun. A snack food made from corn, maize kernels popped by dry heating. Verb. Of a guinea pig. To stand up or jump up quickly. Bomb. Noun. An explosive device used or intended as a weapon. Verb. To attack using one or more bombs. To bombard. Adjective. Great. Awesome. C. Verb. Stative. To perceive or detect with the eyes. Or as if by sight. Interjection. Directing the audience to pay attention to the following.